published 0957 EDT, the 6th of September 2017 updated 1057 EDT, the 6th of September 2017 It has only been a couple of days since the end of the long weekend, but it appears that Ivanka Trump's work is already starting to take something of a toll. The 35-year-old headed to the office on Wednesday morning looking somewhat somber, keeping a very straight face as she left her Washington, D.C. home, in a low-key beige outfit. Making a move away from the chic fit and flare dresses she often favors, Ivanka cinched in the waist of her shirt and shirt ensemble with a 90SS tile wide leather belt, scroll down for video 90s style Ivanka Trump stepped out in an all beige ensemble on Wednesday morning, cinching in the waist of her outfit with a wide leather belt post holiday blues the mother of three kept a very straight face as she made her way out of the Washington, D.C. home she shares with husband Jared Kushner off to work Ivanka, 35, made her way to a waiting SUV which was ready to whisk her to the White House, where she works as a senior advisor to her father, President Donald Trump looking straight ahead at her waiting SUV as she left her home via the lower side gate of the property. Ivanka chose not to acknowledge the waiting photographers as she so often does, and failed to flash so much as smile or a wave at the cameras. Ivanka's rather gloomy disposition could well be the result of the growing controversy surrounding her father's decision to end DACA, an Obama-era program that allows illegal immigrants who arrived as children to live and work in the U.S. without fear of deportation. Both Ivanka and Jared, who serve as senior advisors to President Donald Trump, were drawn into the furious debate surrounding the administration's plan to end DACA on Monday, when over a dozen people gathered outside of the D.C. home where they live with their three children to protest the decision. The group held candles and signs calling for the couple to protect Dreamers, the name given to people residing in the U.S. under the DACA program, as they stood peacefully outside the property. Hours later, on Tuesday morning, Ivanka chose to keep a very low profile, leaving her home in the comfort of an armored SUV, rather than stepping out to face the cameras. Cheery despite Ivanka's rather somber appearance, her husband Jared, 36, looked completely relaxed as he left their home, shortly before his wife Classic wearing his trademark navy suit. The father of three happily smiled for the cameras before heading into the office by dad Jared paused to wave up at one of his children, then climbed into a waiting car looking for help on Monday night. Over a dozen people gathered holding candles in front of their home while peacefully protesting against the Trump administration ending DACA Secret Service agents were photographed putting car seats into a black SUV that was eventually backed into the home's garage where Ivanka reportedly got in before departing. But while Ivanka's mood appeared to be slightly solemn, Jared was photographed smiling while exiting their home on Wednesday sporting a navy suit and pausing to wave up at one of his children as he made his way into a waiting car. He made a similarly cheery appearance on Tuesday, leaving his home in another Navy ensemble, waving and smiling at the cameras. Earlier that same day, the couple were delivered a pricey new exercise bike that promises to turn their $5.5 million Washington, D.C. home into their own private indoor cycling studio. The political couple, who live in the upmarket neighborhood of Calorama, appears to have purchased a $1,995 Peloton stationary bike, which allows users to stream live and on-demand cycling classes from the comfort of their own homes. Two men in a Peloton van were photographed delivering the cutting-edge bike to the couple's home after they headed to work following the long holiday weekend. Special arrival Two men delivered a Peloton stationary bike to Ivanka and Jared's Washington, D.C. home on Tuesday hiding out the state-of-the-art bike costs $1.9995 and allows users to take live studio classes in the comfort of their own homes. Delivery Two Peloton employees arrived in front of their door in a gray van security. The van appeared to be checked before they were allowed to remove the bike arrival the men were photographed as they unloaded the bike and carried it up the steps to the couple's front door after the Peloton employees were cleared to bring the bike inside. They were seen carrying the nearly $2,000 bike up the front stairs of their home. In addition to the price of the bike, Ivanka and Jared will have to pay $39 per month for full access to Peloton's classes. However, it may be worth it for the high-profile couple. Just a month after President Trump's inauguration in January, Solid Core Gym founder Ann Malum took to Facebook to say that his eldest daughter used an alias to take one of her $37 classes. What you do when you find out Ivanka Trump just took Solid Core, but used an alias to sign up for class you reach out and ask for a meeting, she wrote. While I don't know her and I always seek to understand, I do know her father is threatening the rights of many of my beloved clients and coaches and as a business owner, I take my responsibility to protect and fight for my people very seriously. In a rush Ivanka rushed to work Tuesday morning while seemingly hiding in a black SUV just hours after DACA protesters stood outside of her DC home no worries Jared, however, was photographed smiling while exiting their home on Tuesday sporting a business suit. 
he got into a waiting vehicle to head to the White House. The classes, which are available at 13 locations in the D.C. area, are described as high-intensity, full-body, low-impact 50-minute session on a resistance machine with no more than 12 people per class. Although critics slammed the gym owner for calling out Ivanka after her workout, the incident made it clear that the first daughter won't go unnoticed at her gym sessions. Ivanka and Jared are both senior advisors for the president, and they have been photographed coming back from their early morning workouts numerous times since they moved to New York City to Washington, D.C. eight months ago. The mother of three developed a passion for running after training for a half marathon in 2015, and she and Jared started jogging together as a way to spend quality time with one another. Although it is unclear who the bike is for, Ivanka is also said to be a fan of Flywheel. But with her growing celebrity and her father's controversial policies, it might be easier for her to work up a sweat in her own home. Heading to work Ivanka was photographed again looking a bit glum as she left her home last Wednesday morning. That's better Ivanka seemed to have brightened up by mid-morning when she left the White House to head to Missouri alongside Gary Cohn and Rob Porter family trip. Ivanka and Jared whisked their three kids away to Camp David for a fun-filled weekend in August, pre-order Wednesday. Morning's outing, Ivanka was last photographed leaving her home a week ago, and while she had somewhat of a gloomy look on her face in the morning, she was all smiles as she prepared to head to Missouri to join her father. The assistant to the president was seen strolling across the White House lawn alongside Gary Cohn, the director of the White House Economic Council, and White House Staff Secretary Rob Porter, looking incredibly relaxed and carefree. Ivanka was grinning as she chatted with the two men who were accompanying her on the day trip. As she prepared to board Air Force One and head to Springfield, Missouri, Ivanka took to Twitter to share details about her trip, and her father's upcoming announcement, joining at Real Donald Trump in Missouri today as he announces the plan for tax reform to empower all Americans, she wrote on her official account.